have for question nine. What is a molar mass, a keyword molar mass of helium? Okay, so now, just as we did with the other question, we first have to figure out what helium prefers to be. Is helium, uh, who, let me just remember, is helium going to be an atomic element, a molecular element, or a molecular compound. So for this, once again, unfortunately, you kind of have to memorize it to be able to navigate it, okay? So with that being said though, okay, if we look at the periodic table, we can get some hints of what helium would like to be. They just say helium, right? So we know it's not a molecular compound because it's only composed of helium. We're trying to decide now if it's going to be a molecular element, so like uh, multiples of helium, or just an atomic element where it's helium by itself. Helium is a gas, but the key thing is that it's a noble gas, okay? Noble gases don't care about having bonds or anything else. They're perfectly content with what they are, kind of like those metals we are talking about, like silver earlier. So with that being said, helium, think about it, it's just gonna be an atom by itself. And as we discussed earlier, if you have an atom by yourself, your molar mass is going to be the same as your atomic mass. So if we look straight to the periodic table and we saw the atomic mass, helium is 4.0026, okay? And we put our units because that actually would be the molar mass for helium, okay? So with that being said, we have 4.003 grams per mole, which is also correct based on their periodic table. But exactly, that's all you have to do for this question. But the key thing is identifying that it's an atomic element, because although it's a gas, it is a noble gas, and noble gases are completely fine by themselves. They don't need any bonds with themselves to be able to even, uh, I guess, become more stable, because they're already perfectly stable as they are. So now question 10, okay, 